Have you wondered if it's normal not to experience orgasms regularly? What is the impact of menopause on female sexuality? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. It's normal for the frequency of orgasms to vary among individuals due to factors such as emotional state and health. Open communication and personal understanding can be key to maintaining a healthy sexual life. If there are concerns, consulting with a sexual health professional may be helpful. Menopause can impact female sexuality by causing hormonal changes leading to vaginal dryness and decreased sexual desire. However, many women find ways to maintain a satisfying sexual life during this stage. Oral transmission. Although less common than vaginal or anal sexual transmission, some STDs, such as gonorrhea and syphilis, can be transmitted through oral sex, emphasizing the importance of using protection during all forms of sexual activity. Orgasm control toys. Some sex toys are designed to help individuals control their arousal and delay orgasm, such as penis rings with adjustable vibration or resistance training devices. Physical exercise and erectile. Dysfunction. Staying physically active can help prevent erectile dysfunction, as regular exercise improves cardiovascular health, promotes blood circulation, and reduces the risk of obesity, all of which contribute to erectile dysfunction. Podcasts and radio programs. There are radio programs and podcasts that address topics related to the Kama Sutra, offering debates, interviews, and advice on sexuality and relationships based on its principles. Positions that promote communication. To strengthen emotional connection, some women prefer positions that facilitate verbal and nonverbal communication with their partner, such as missionary with hugs and caresses. Preparation. Time. Women tend to require more time to reach the peak state of arousal compared to men. Prolonged foreplay can be especially important in helping women reach the right level of arousal to fully enjoy sexual intercourse. Professional treatment. For those individuals experiencing distress or difficulties due to their fetishes, seeking professional help from sex therapists or psychologists can be beneficial. Therapy can help address underlying concerns and provide strategies for managing fetishes in a healthy way. Psychological origins. Fetishes can have different psychological origins, from early childhood experiences to subconscious associations developed over time. Some studies suggest that fetishes may arise as coping mechanisms to deal with anxiety or stress. Rediscovery in the digital age. With the advent of the internet, the Kama Sutra has experienced a resurgence online, with numerous websites, blogs, and resources dedicated to exploring and sharing its teachings in a modern context. Regulations and Standards In many countries, sex toys are subject to specific regulations and standards to ensure their safety and quality, including material testing and age-related sales restrictions. Relaxation Techniques Practicing relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing, meditation, or yoga, can help reduce anxiety and improve sexual response in individuals with stress-related anorgasmia. Risk factors. Some factors, such as engaging in unprotected sexual intercourse, having multiple sexual partners, using intravenous drugs, and having a history of previous STDs, can increase the risk of contracting an STD. Role-playing. Some couples enjoy role-playing during foreplay, where they can explore different fantasies and erotic scenarios, such as doctor-patient play, teacher-student, or clandestine encounters. Secondary premature ejaculation. Secondary premature ejaculation may develop as a result of physical or psychological factors, such as diabetes, hypertension, stress, or depression, and may require a different treatment approach. Sensual bath ritual. Many women enjoy a sensual bath ritual as part of foreplay, 
which may include bathing together with aromatic bath salts, candles, and relaxing music to create an intimate and soothing atmosphere. In urban settings in developing countries, sexual and reproductive health clinics run by young people have been established to provide counseling, HIV testing, and distribution of contraceptives tailored to the needs of young populations. Sexual education. Some people use pornography as a form of sexual education, although this can be problematic due to the unrealistic and inaccurate representation of sexual relations and the human body. Sexual fantasies and erotic literature. Erotic literature has been a source of inspiration for many people in their sexual fantasies. Erotic stories can allow people to explore scenarios and experiences that may not be possible in real life. Sexuality and mental health. Mental health can influence sexuality and vice versa. Mental health issues such as depression or anxiety can affect libido and sexual satisfaction, while a satisfying sex life can contribute to emotional well-being. Sexuality in old age. As people age, their sexual needs and desires may change, but sexuality remains an important part of life. Many older adults continue to enjoy an active and satisfying sex life. Sexuality and therapy. Sex therapy is a specialized field that helps people address sexual problems and improve their sex life through exploration of thoughts, emotions, behaviors, and relationships related to sexuality. Smoking and erectile dysfunction. Smoking can significantly increase the risk of developing erectile dysfunction due to the effects of tobacco on blood vessels and blood flow to the penis. Stress response. Foreplay can help women release tension and reduce stress, allowing them to relax and fully immerse themselves in the sexual experience. In countries like Sweden and Finland, sexual education policies based on the positive sexual health approach have been implemented, promoting sexual well-being, autonomy, and respect for diversity. Teeth fetishism. Some people find sexual arousal towards teeth, either admiring the aesthetic appearance of a partner's teeth or engaging in erotic activities involving teeth. The concept of positive sexuality. Positive sexuality refers to a respectful, non-judgmental, and empowering attitude towards sexuality, which promotes pleasure, equality, and consent in all sexual expressions. The impact of media on perceptions of sexuality. The media, including television, movies, and pornography, can influence perceptions of sexuality and create unrealistic expectations about sex. The importance of consent. Mutual and freely given consent is fundamental in any sexual activity. It's important that all parties involved in a sexual encounter agree and feel comfortable with what is happening. The influence of the sex industry. The sex industry, including pornography, prostitution, and the sale of sex toys, has a significant impact on perception and attitudes toward sexuality, as well as on the economy and culture in general. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.